Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a live stream where Chris from Poor Public Safety is trying to explain uh, what fair use is all about. But you know what? This boy came and found his way out of an elevator, so why should we take his word for anything? So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So when you see someone violating slander, it's wrong. You should be the first person to say, you're wrong, you're out of line, that's not appropriate. Don't just say, well, you know, it's First Amendment. Well, it's not First Amendment, okay? It's not First Amendment to lie about someone to hurt their reputation. That is illegal. It's not criminal, but it is illegal. So, hey, what is that? That god-awful smell. I don't know. I got poopy. Did you just say that you, uh, you went poopy? Yeah, it was good. That's the kind of stuff they're doing. They're, they're buddies. So when one of them gets butt hurt, they're reaching out to the other, right? They're like a, like a troll community of childish assholes. And then that person puts it on their channel and so on and so forth. So the person like me ends up having to do like five copyright strikes in three days on the same video on different channels. It's pathetic, like really ridiculous. No, nobody around here is uh, butthurt. We all just watch the same damn frauder content day in, day out. Each one of us puts out our own take on it, and we go from there. But you, you're the one who's most certainly butthurt putting out copy, false copyright strikes on everybody that does your videos except for me where's my false copyright why don't you send me one share the love share the hate just share it with me please let me know you care yikes don't run away from your feelings we learned the laws and fair use is it, it was a little complicated like a little complicated but when i didn't browse through it and i actually read it it became not complicated at all to learn. So I have a feeling that anyone who is, is capable of creating the YouTube channel by themselves would also be perfectly capable of fully understanding fair use and how those factors come together to create one measurement to determine whether or not it's exempt. I think this is one of those cases where the Dunning-Kruger effect applies. I mean, I think you only read a small portion of it and thought you knew everything, just like many of the other things you have said throughout your YouTube videos, which turn out to be nothing but a bunch of quote mind bullshit. Because if you truly knew what the uh, fair use was, you certainly wouldn't be giving anybody uh, copyright strikes. In fact, that will count against your channel and it will eventually bring it down. Um, there are a few channels right now that have been heavily attacking um, from a slanderous and and defamatory standpoint. I really think you mean defamatory right there, dude. So uh, try reading that word again properly next time. Um, literally doing that, like violating those uh, state laws, uh, which are not criminal. Uh, they can be, but more than likely it's not necessarily criminal, but it is civil law violations. But I mean, here, I'll give you an example. Uh, Let's talk about slander or defamation and it just let's start there. Oh goody, the quote mining elevator moron is going to teach us something. So let's go ahead and all sit in a circle and let's open our ears and pay attention and use active listening because this one is going to be a painful one. If you're talking about defamation, it's pretty much just means if you're saying something untrue, or if, yeah, if you're saying something untrue, it doesn't necessarily matter whether you know it's untrue or not, but if you have reason to believe it's not true, and you're gonna make the statement anyway, especially if you're gonna publish the statement, 
then you're responsible for saying anything that causes a person damage, harm, or injury. If it can. Not if it does, if it can. So if you cause damage to somebody in some way through your words or anything like that, then you're liable for it, huh? Okay, uh, how about all those times that you called uh, officers tyrants and everything like that? I mean, shouldn't you be held legally responsible every time they, you called them tyrants because that may end up damaging their reputation? So, uh... Yeah, now think about that for a second, because that's essentially what you're saying, is that you shouldn't be saying that's anything that's untrue about these people or anybody, because calling somebody a tyrant versus calling your uh, girlfriend some uh, erroneous name, I mean, what's the difference there? I mean, you a tyrant versus that's really the difference right there, dude. Because I'm watching my analytics, and guys, what, what I'm seeing is that my channel will be taking off, doing really, really well uh, with videos that are, you know, really taking off quick. And then all of a sudden, they'll, they'll cap the level too soon, like when they shouldn't. And then we will get the notification that one of the other channels has literally taken my video screen recorded the whole thing all the way through and then did a little teeny tiny intro on it and called us a few names and then said we're stupid and then played our videos right whoa whoa uh i never called you stupid now i've called you idiot moron uh imbecile uh dumbass but stupid i've never called you stupid because, quite honestly, I think you're way beyond stupid. I mean, you're a way above that category. I mean, stupid is the bottom tier of uh, low intelligence, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you, you just keep on going up the tiers as you go along anyway. So what I'm realizing is that what they're doing is, is they are they're degrading the value of the content, is what they're doing. They're taking away the value of the content because... Not only are they watching a cut up misinformation type version over on another channel, but the other channel is literally using the content, my straight up content. It's not altered, it's not changed. It is my content with bits and pieces cut so that they can talk. That is altering it, you moron. It's transforming it into uh, more acceptable, uh, fair use uh, content that way when but hurt morons like you decide that they want to throw a temper tantrum and throw co false copyright strikes at us, uh, it ends up uh, being struck down by YouTube eventually. So you need to really look into what you're doing because, well, you're making yourself look like a complete imbecile the more you go along. But in the cases that I'm referring to in these troll channels, what they're doing is they're just using a little bit of satire, okay? Because satire is basically, I mean, I've, I had to look the word up, so I'm just going to say it because I don't know how many of you actually know the definition of satire. Probably all of you except for me. But it, it is a form of criticism, right? It's to knock the shit out of something, right? It's pretty much say, ah, fuck that thing, right? Um, but they think because they're using satire, because it is one of the elements, you know, there's really nothing wrong with looking up a word that you don't know. At least you're willing to grow beyond what you are. But still, I mean, filing false copyright strikes because you're so damn butthurt about other people commenting on uh, your idiocy is just a complete lunacy on your part. Which reminds me, Chris... When the hell are you going to send me my false copyright strikes? When are you going to do that? I am waiting. I've been waiting for days and I'm getting rather impatient. Please do it. Please do it. I mean, I've got all my videos backed up. So if uh, you ever send a false copyright strike against me, I can easily look it up and refute your bullshit to begin with. So, uh, yeah. Try it, and you will definitely lose another 
strike. You will definitely do that. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.